Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art. Today I'm going to show you a quick activity using metallic slicks. So metallic slicks are these little wax-like markers. So you can wheel them up kind of like a lipstick and when you apply it onto a surface, it's very waxy in texture. So when you apply it onto something like a canvas board, it's very soft and easy to smudge. So if I use my finger, you can see that's smudging quite easily on the board. So what's really interesting about these is that they dry quite quickly. So once this has set for a few minutes and dried, it will have a solid plasticky consistency. So instead of being smudgy and easy to smooth, so over time that will dry and then you won't be able to move it anymore, but it will set solid. So what we're going to do today is use these metallic slicks on a black canvas board to do a little bit of a scratch back activity. I have an etching tool with me, but you can use something like a saute stick or a skewer instead if you don't want the kids to be using anything sharp. So the reason why I'm using the metallic slicks on the black canvas board is because the metallic colors come up really nicely on the black. So you could use black paper as well if you had something without a sharp point, because this is pointed. If you did this on paper, you might tear the paper, but you'd be fine to do it with a skewer as well. So what I'm going to do now is use the metallic slicks just to create a surface and we're going to use the etching tool to scratch back over that. So like I said before, when you first apply the metallic slicks, they're quite waxy and easy to smudge. When you've left it for a few minutes, it will dry into more of a solid plastic feeling surface. I'm going to use both colors and just combine them a little bit. Now when you're doing this, you do want quite a thick surface to work on, but because the image that I'm going to do is quite small, I don't want to cover the whole board in the slicks because that would just be a waste. So I'm just going to mainly cover the middle. So I'm just going to blend out some of this color just so we don't have a hard line between the background of the black and then the color of the slick. And now I'll add some thicker, slick to the middle part and then we can scratch back into that. Okay, so now we've built up our surface, we can use our tool to scratch back into it. So I'm just going to do something quite simple. I'll do a little B. And what's great about this is if you make any mistakes, then you can just use the slick to go back over any lines that you've made a mistake with. If you want a specific color in a certain area, then you can just draw over the top of the image with the metallic slicks. For example, with these wings, I want them to be silver instead of gold. So I'll just go over the image with the silver slick and then I can scratch that off and you'll only see this silver color on the surface. When you are scratching back the metallic slicks, you don't have to scratch too hard. If you are using something with a sharp point, like an etching tool, then all you wanna do is really light, small strokes, and then you get a lot of texture in your work. So when you think you've finished, you can just leave your piece to dry. So you'll notice that as you're working, some of the metallic slicks will start to dry, which is completely fine because if you did want to add more or redo any parts, you can just put some fresh slick over the top and then scratch that back. But otherwise, I'm quite happy with this. It's a really nice, easy activity for kids to have a bit of a go at scratch back. Even if you wanted to do your own scratch back paper, you could do this technique instead. So this can be quite a good activity if you're introducing etching to a class or even if you wanted to start off with some line work or using cross hatching in whatever images you're creating. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and techniques.